Many independent contractors work remotely, often on more or multiple projects at the same time. The trades have an aging workforce and most contractors and carpenters that I know are older and concerned about tool size and weight. One of the main culprits is the portable table saw. As an essential tool, the portable table saw takes up a ton of space. Many of us are on the quest to find that holy grail of table saws. That means a compact, portable table saw that can still provide us power, quality cuts, flexibility, the flexibility of a larger saw. So compact portable table saws are a new breed. They've been out for many, many years, but they've gotten better and better and better. Today's saws are smartly well-designed and compact. They're tougher, more capable, and more accurate than the older saws that we grew up and learned on. And many have uh, boast extending tables, sliding supports, super improved rip fences, rolling stands, 10 inch blades, and driven by uh, 15 amp motors. Compact portable table saws are designed to be easily uh, lifted up and moved around and making them uh, basically more usable and viable on the job site. Portable table saws basically perform the same function today as larger saws, but on a smaller scale. Most of us, or most users, want to be able to rip full sheet of plywood and prefer lower weight. Well, you, you can't always have that, and we certainly don't want to sacrifice accuracy. Portability is where it's at, and you've got to ask yourself, do I really need that big capacity saw? Portability is certainly a huge concern and one of the big influences in purchasing decisions, and we still need to be productive and safe. So it only makes sense that we purchase and run tools and accessories in such a way as to minimize you know, our storage and locating and access as well as transportation of these tools to and from the job site. Time is money. So we talk about portable not always being compact. Well, not all portable table saws are compact. Portable table saws these days come in really two different styles. Either they're a bench top model that fit into a stand or on a bench, or they're on a stand and mounted to a collapsible wheel stand or base. These wheel stands um, are really convenient, but they're bulky space eaters and can weigh up to 100 pounds. Many on-the-job setups uh, are changing these days, and I often find myself working outdoors, indoors, sometimes on a third, fourth, fifth floor walk-up, and maneuvering a wheeled saw up the walk-up, that's not convenient. That's where compact table saws shine. So using, uh, we also want to talk about using a table system and being able to take a small table saw and putting it into a table system, making it accurate, safe, and full cut capacity with minimal effort time, that's invaluable. Additionally, being able to break down that table into a small footprint that doesn't take up much space in the van, trailer, or truck is a game changer. Right now, we're actually looking at the Russo table saw stand and seeing how that fits into our needs on the job site. So far, so good. Look, working smarter means manufacturers are developing smart, well-designed, compact saws that are tough, capable, and geared for us mobile contractors that make a living out of a back of a pickup van or garage. Think of it this way. How often do you use a super-sized, large, rip capacity table saw to its capacity? Are you making those big rips? If the answer is not every day, then start looking at compact models as a serious solution to space weight, time, and transport. Keep that big saw in the garage, shop, or, or barn, and work smarter, not harder. I'm Rob Robillard. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.